Imagine you're just going about your daily life, going and getting groceries, visiting family, having a good time, and then suddenly, out of nowhere, this giant tower appears in the middle of the city, and it starts calling you, beckoning you as a potential warrior who can save your world. And at first, you're like, eh, whatever, you know, someone else is going to go do that, right? But then monsters start flying out of the tower and killing everyone you know. That's the world after the fall. This comic takes a really interesting spin on some of the genres that we're used to. It reminds me a lot of Tower of God, which is, of course, my favorite story ever, but it spins it in a way that reminds me of stories like Omniscient Reader or Solo Leveling, which makes a lot of sense because this is the same author as the person who wrote Omniscient Reader. You see a lot of similarities. There are even some references to Omniscient Reader, which is super cool and even brings up the idea that what if these take place in the same universe? But regardless, this is a story about people who enter this tower and become tower walkers. They essentially carry on their shoulders the weight of the world. They need to climb this tower and if they can, they can stop these tower impacts from happening and these monsters flying out of the tower and wiping out humanity. Now, the really interesting thing about this concept is we think that's the story, right? Like the prologue starts like this and the first few chapters, but then things take a turn, which actually showcase that this story might not even be about that. That's all I'm going to say about that, because obviously I want you to experience it for yourself. But let's just say uh, things are complicated. The art is, of course, beautiful. If you're if you read stories for the art, right, and you're someone who that that really matters to you, then I'm then the omniscient reader. The world after the fall isn't going to let you down. It's super beautiful. Um, it's a very famous art studio. They've done a lot of other comics on Webtoon and their experience shows. Like, this is beautiful. Uh, the fighting scenes, the character designs, um, the emotions. I really love certain panels. Like, some creative decisions were made here. Like, for example, there's a scene where one of the characters is, like, thinking back about dead comrades, and you see them in the ice. Or there's another scene where you see this, like, I don't know why this stuck out to me, but I have it in my notes. There's this cross design, but it's a cross, get this, in the shape of a dragon. Wait a minute, I frick, I messed it up! It's a dragon in the shape of a cross. How freaking cool is that? A lot of very interesting concepts are brought up here that I think are really cool. Like, it's not just fighting and, and, and all this stuff that you see in other comics. I think one of the main sort of discussion points in this story is a concept of, like, abandonment. And not just, like, friends not being loyal, but there's this system in this story where the characters find this stone, and it's called a regression stone. And a lot of the story revolves around this, this little object. This is an object where if you use it, it'll apparently take you back in time to before the, but the current time before the tower impact and all this stuff. It gives you like a second chance, basically. And what happens is a lot of people who are about to die end up using the regression stone. They leave the world and you never see them again. It's not like you see them again when they go back in time and they're a new person, they show up. They just completely vanish as if they never existed. Of course, you still remember them, but they, they're gone. They're not going to show up again. And there's a theory about like, oh, maybe parallel universes, like when they go back in time, blah, blah, blah. But the point is, the main character hates that because he sees it as them abandoning their world, basically. They're basically giving up. They're giving up to go to this other world or this other time. But in reality, the main character, Jaywon, wants to stay and be the defender of the current humanity, which I think is so powerful, right? Like, in a lot of cases, we're like, oh, going back in time, like, that's so cool. Which, sure, there's an appealing quality to that. But at the same time, what if it is creating like a parallel universe? You're leaving this parallel universe behind, like the current universe. So I think that's just so cool because it's all a mystery. A lot of this comic is just like, okay, what is this tower? What are these things that are like making us do this? What are these stones? What are these universes? Which is just so neat and I love to see it. The action, of course, is great, so I won't touch on that too much. You know the drill by now. But I also love that this tower kind of like Tower of God, actually. Like, the people are in there for so long, climbing this thing for de for literal decades, okay? 
that they end up creating this like civilization and this lifestyle. Like for example, um, the main character, he's like struggling to get past a certain floor. So he ends up like going back down to another floor way below where there's this town that's been created and there's like a blacksmith and these people. And I think that's so neat, you know, that once you conquer floors, you can just go back down. Um, and there's like a whole civilization there where they've sort of developed a system of like gathering ore and materials and like healers and blacksmiths, which is so cool. I think it's awesome. And you got the armor and the weapons, you know, it all comes together to create this universe and to create this, this world that feels alive. You know, the characters have lived it. They've been there. The pace is really fast as well. Like there's only nine or 10 chapters currently available, uh, as of releasing this video and it's crazy how much has already happened within that span of time. So regardless, if this is something that interests you, then check the link down below. I think you'd like it. Again, it reminds me of Tower of God with the whole tower concept, but the the abilities and the actual like lore in the universe reminds me of Omniscient Reader, which makes sense. It's the same author. So if that interests you, check the link down below. Huge shout out to Webtoon for sponsoring this video. If you want to read more comics on Webtoon, the mobile app is literally the best way because you can just scroll through all the different genres and they recommend certain ones to you. Obviously, they pop up on your feed and you're like, oh, shoot, you know, that one looks like the one I'm reading. And there's literally like hundreds to choose from. So if that interests you, check the link down below. Huge shout out to Webtoon. We love you. You guys are freaking cool. With that being said, I'll see you in my next Webtoon review. Take care.